Hi everybody at Mouse Steps, it's Brian. Um, I'm Brian Morrow, Creative Director for SeaWorld Parks Entertainment. Here at Turtle Trek, um, I came up with this idea with our, my design team uh, to develop this amazing journey that the guests will get to go on, the journey of a lifetime through the eyes of a sea turtle in the world's first 3D, 360 degree dome theater. And it's right here at the Open Today world premiere. The ideas for attractions at SeaWorld are very simple. They're based in nature. We don't really make up a lot of stories. We use real stories with real animals and real environments that our guests want to know about and learn about. So we find those stories attached to missions and rescue efforts that we're doing as a company with sea turtles. We've rescued more sea turtles than anybody else, more than a thousand to date. We have returned back to the wild, which is a big number, considering only one out of every hundred sea turtles lives to adult. So we're making a big difference by rescuing sea turtles at all of our SeaWorld parks here in San Diego and, and Texas. Um, so the idea was a simple idea. It's the true story of, this, of the sea turtle, the journey of a lifetime that they take over 25 years from the day they hatch to the day they return to the beach to lay their eggs. That's a 25 year lifespan over hundreds of thousands of miles and our guests will get to go on that experience underwater in the world's first 3D virtual environment hyper real content as a sea turtle. 3D um, has, for since we've known it in theme parks, has really lived in a flat space. It's lived on a fixed screen with a fixed audience. Or you might have, we have a Dark Castle attraction in Virginia. We have an audience that's moving on a ride system with flat 3D screens and some curved 3D screens. But we kind of know where the audience is at all times. It's, they're called fixed or known locations. Turtle Trek's unique attribute is that we no longer have the audience fixed to a seat or a ride mechanism. They are free to move about the theater as they wish, to watch the show as it unveils and unfolds around them. Uh, that was a complicated uh, process to get through. Uh, a great way to equate this, if we were to freeze the film at any given moment, like the jellyfish scene, and we froze those jellyfish over the, all 300 of them, swimming over the audience, you could actually walk around the theater and view that jellyfish from any direction virtually that you wanted to. So you're no longer really fixed to one camera or one guest position. And by doing that, it's completely immersive. The guests are now in control of what they want to watch in the dome. Now we take the content, most 3D content, comes out of the screen and goes back like a rubber band. Well, guess what? Animals don't swim backwards. So we couldn't do that. So we wanted our animals to come out of the dome, into the space, and then swim over the guests as they naturally work and disappear in the water beyond. And that's what happens here at Turtle Trek, and that's what makes it so unique and so real. And that's why everybody thinks it's so immersive. Well, the storyline is, is the turtle storyline, um, so that's real. The, the, the message that we overlaid onto it about becoming an everyday hero, that's part of our DNA as, as, as a theme park and, and a rescue team and a, and a research facility as well. Um, our guests want to learn about what they can do to make a difference. They want to learn how they can make a difference when they leave the parks. And so we're going to make them heroes by doing We're going to reward them by doing it. So when they leave this theater, they would have been completely engulfed in the, in the orange glow of everyday heroes. And as they walk out, that orange glow follows them all the way to the post experience, post show, and into the retail experience where the orange glow will again completely cover the guests as they make purchases that directly support conservation efforts all over the planet. That's right, some of the um, most horrific moments for a sea turtle are the first few moments of its life. They're buried alive in a nest in the dark with all their brothers and sisters. They all hatch at the same time. They crawl out of the nest land on the beach and they have to make a dash that's probably equal to a marathon for a human being to the water by themselves, no mom, and they have to overcome many obstacles, one of which are human lights. And you'll see that demonstrated. Our turtle, Naya, who we are on the film, we actually turned the wrong way. And all the turtles are passing us. Well, our friend Scoot, he actually turns us the right direction, gets us headed to the water, but we get distracted by the lights on the neighborhood and the condo buildings nearby. Um, and what's a unique little tidbit, when we return to the same beach to lay our eggs, all those lights that distracted us have now been changed to sea turtle safe lighting, and it's no longer a distraction to us. And you can see that sea, tur sea turtle safe lighting right here in the queue line of Turtle Trek. We actually use it for our lighting of our area development. It's all put together. Um, so Turtle Trek, SeaWorld Orlando, it's an amazing journey, a journey of a lifetime, completely immersive, world's first technology, but most importantly, you'll walk away feeling like you can make a difference in the world right here at our park by first of all, never using another plastic bag in any SeaWorld or Busch Gardens theme park. And that's a big deal. We're the biggest leader in that effort moving forward, especially in the theme park industry. And it's happening right now, right today, and it's all wrapped around Turtle Trek.